Hi! Today I'm going to show you how to make aloo gobi the easy way. Aloo, which is potato, and gobi, which is cauliflower, is a great combination and tastes so good together with just a few spices. Traditionally, aloo gobi is made on the stovetop in a skillet, which requires stirring it often. Sometimes the potato cooks faster or the cauliflower cooks faster and one of the vegetable ends up being mushy. My recipe shows you how to roast the cauliflower and potato in the oven and that ensures even cooking and frees a lot of my time. So here are all the ingredients. Cauliflower, which is cut up into one inch florets. Potato, cut up into one inch cubes. Sliced onions. Minced ginger, minced garlic, oil, and the spices, which is cumin powder, cayenne pepper, turmeric, and salt. And then I have chopped up cilantro to garnish the vegetables at the end. So I'm going to throw together all the ingredients. Mix it a little bit. And then put in all the vegetables. And my oven is preheating at 450 degrees. So this is all nicely mixed. And now I'm going to spread it in a foil lined tray and I'm going to spray it a little bit so the vegetables don't stick and put it in the oven, the preheated oven. We're going to leave it there for 20 minutes and come back and see how it's doing. Looks great. It's been about 20 minutes. Let's stir the vegetables a little. Okay, so I just pulled it out of the oven. It has been five minutes since we stirred it, so a total of 25 minutes in the oven. And it looks perfect. The uh, potato's done, the cauliflower's done, and none of them are mushy. So let's put it in our serving dish, and we garnish it with some cilantro. If for some reason the aloo gobi does not feel cooked to you because the potatoes were too big, just cover them with the foil and let the vegetable rest. It traps the steam, keeps it moist, and because it's still very hot, it still continues to cook for another five, 10 minutes. So let's look at the texture and see if the seasoning is right. The cauliflower is in great shape, holding together well. Potato is holding together well. That's great. Salt and pepper, everything is perfect. If you like it hotter, just throw in some more chopped green chilies. For details of this recipe and other mouth-watering delicious recipes, please check out my blog.